Yo guys, welcome to the third episode of Guitar Guys. Were you sending your videos to my Instagram or Twitter? I critique them. We have a good time. I try to make this video under five minutes, but usually fail. We have a good time. Let's have a good time. And you know the deal. Every Saturday, I go over your videos. You send them to me. Basically, you guys send me your guitar problems of in a video format. I critique them, I solve your problems, and you get to be in my video every single I mean Saturday. If you guys would like to be in next week's episode of Guitar Guides, go to my Instagram or Twitter, just send me a video of your guitar problem, you explaining your problem, and make sure to record it landscape, and boom, you're in. My first video we have from Joaquim. Thank you, Joaquim. Thank you, Joaquim, for sending in your video. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Without further ado, let's watch your video. Let's go. That sounded great, I'm not gonna lie, that sounded really good, but there are like a couple, maybe two things that you could have changed that could have made it sound a lot more better, but for the most part, that did sound really good. Alright, the first thing, I, I love that you're playing your E minor chord with these two fingers, with the middle finger. That's good, because most people like to play the, the E minor chord with their first and second finger like this, but it's obviously a lot better to play it like this, which is really good. The first thing is that your strumming is a little out of control, like you have your E minor and you're like this. Like that okay so basically with strumming you want it to come from the elbow you don't really want to strum like this you don't want to like go like you're rowing a boat or anything you want to like strum with the elbow and keep your wrist in line with your forearm at all times and yeah basically just relax just relax your elbow just relax your wrist and just strum just strum just strum yeah but and you're strumming a bit loud so try to strum like a little less loud try to get like an upstroke in there i noticed you were going like down 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 i don't know if that's part of the song but if, if that's part of the song then that's okay but if it's not try to get an upstroke in there and upstrokes are really easy you just upstroke so instead of doing down 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 try down up down up down up down so i heard a little bit of buzzing i heard like the tiniest buzzing in the beginning from i think the e minor is it, it was like it was like uh yeah like that Alright, so that, try to make sure your finger is all the way to the right side of the fret and press on your fingertips. And you should be able to ring out with no buzzing. And that should be good. Also, very last thing. Uh, it sounded like you were not really hitting the bass notes. So for the E minor, I think you were mostly, you were hitting the bass notes, but for like, I think you played a, you played a G as well. Uh, uh, you were, you were, I think you were strumming, uh, only from like the fourth string. You were only getting like the high strings, like. Try to get those bass notes. Try to get the E, A, and the, G, and the D in there. Try to really get the whole chord in there. So you could hear all the sounds. And otherwise, bro, just control your strumming, get the bass notes, and get rid of that buzzing. And otherwise, you're good. Thank you, Joaquim, for sending in your video. Good job, bro. Alright, next guy, next guy, let's see. Who next guy is? Let's see his name. I forgot his name. His name is Carl. Thank you, Carl, for sending in your video. It means a lot. Let's have a look right now. you great video that actually sounded pretty good i'm not gonna lie i say that was everyone but it's the truth all right carl two things two things only first thing very minor i think there's one chord in there where it took you a while I, i'm not sure what chord it was i think it was like a somewhat of an e minor and then something to like an e major uh it was like it was like you took like one second to transition it's obviously not the biggest problem i'm, I'm sure you'll get over it quickly but just try to get your chord transitions down a little bit more Literally, just a very simple exercise for you to get your chord transitions in. Uh, make the shape of the chord, then pick it up. Still make the shape of the chord in your hand. Move it around, move it around, move it around, then put it back on. And you should get the chord. That is a very simple exercise. And the last thing, um, with you compared to the other guy, I heard a lot of buzzing. A lot of buzzing, which is fine. It, You may say it's like a failure or something or you suck. There are no failures in learning. Learning is learning. There are no failures in learning. Repeat after me. There are no failures in learning. Yes. <laughs> Alright, basically, to get rid of the buzzing, just, as I said with the last guy, put your uh, 
fingers all the way to the side of the fret, not the left side of the fret, all the way to the right side of the fret. Make sure you're pressing on the tips of your fingers and really try to get it to all the way to the side of the fret. I know whenever I tell people this, they're like, I already know this. Easy mistake. I know this. But, but then I look at them play and they're not on the side of the fret, which sometimes I make the mistake. But basically, you want to be on the side of the fret, all the way to the side of the fret. Obviously, not all the way out because then you'll be on the other fret, but just... As far to the side as you could go, go on the tips of your fingers, keep your wrist out like this, out, not in. Don't keep your wrist in like this, keep your wrist out, but obviously not all the way out, just try to keep it like level, like out like that. And press on the back of the neck, let's see if we could get this, yeah, press on the back of the neck with your thumb, holy shit. Just very simple, press, bro, I can't even get this, press on the back of the neck with your thumb, I think that should be good. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's episode of Guitar Guides. Uh, this is series is so much fun, bro. I love connecting with you guys. I'll see you guys next week. If you guys want to be in next week's episode of Guitar Guides, or you guys have any personal questions at all, I'll leave a link to my Instagram and Twitter in the description. Send me a video of your problem. Message me. I don't care. I'll see you guys Wednesday with a good video. Peace out, my boys. <laughs>